Welcome to AI Late to Class. Today I'm going to go through the new Quinn image model and how that compares to Flux Crea. Um, I'm also going to look at the C edit model and how that compares to Flux Context. The Queen model um, is locally installed through Confi UI. There's not much of a workflow there. Um, and the C edit one is done on a website that's free to use. So anyone can use this because the Queen image model is for low VRAM with the GGUF. And the other one is a free website, uh, .org. So that should be free for a while. And we're just going to see, can these sort of things replace Photoshop? Uh, maybe parts of them, maybe not. Um, see, do some testing and see how that goes. Another thing I want to cover is clip interrogators. You know, how do we get prompts out of AI images that we see around the internet? Also, I'm going to have a look at how do we find these images in the first place. Is the search engine sort of aren't around like they used to so the AI images are sort of scattered all over the show on different platforms so there should be something in here for everyone that likes working with AI tools so yeah let's have a look in Comfy UI uh, not a big workflow because there's no speed ups released yet that I know of so I've just got the GGUF model going just as a tester first I could probably push it up a bit but at this stage, just to get it going, I'm just using the Q6. I do have the FP8 on the text encoder, which was about 9 gigs or something. But there is the GGUF text encoder there, about half the size if you don't have the VRAM. Um, this took about each image generation on this computer about 2 minutes 40 versus the Flux Crea, which is about 80 seconds on that so it's about three times longer on that but i have my steps at 20 and my cfg at 4.5 if i can get the speed ups working it'll be interesting to see where i get it down to the images my one of my first images here is this ai late to class which is a clock running down the street with the ai late to class on there the text in this is one of the best i've seen for the open source it's a really good um, adherence to text pretty much on most things i've seen around the internet it is really good um, if i look at my prompt there for that an orange and blue clock head with arms and legs running down the street like it's late for something wearing a white t-shirt with the words ai late to class so it has really good prompt adherence to that I just have a look at some of these other images. Um, that one that I had on there for the thumbnail quality there. This cartoon, like a 1980s cartoon with a cloud with a smiley face and AI late to class. I didn't have that. I can't even see it. it looks like Fibra Cass or something. I didn't put that in there. So that's something that added I didn't really want. And if we look at this next one. This is sort of an uh, angel woman down the catwalk, but the, the quality of her is not really looking very good. It's not, it's almost like stable diffusion. It's not so good. This one here, um, I did prompt for cartoon, but it ended up going for like, almost looks like Peanuts gang or the Charlie Brown was um, Tiger from Pooh Bear, sort of didn't really I wanted it to be unique I didn't want it to bring up characters that already exist from someone else so they've trained something in there that's done that this one here came out quite good um, but I do have versions of this on Flux Crea and so we will see the difference between the two just a normal cool um, image as usual and there's a dog cut out of paper in XXXX so yeah that's that's it and then this is a woman that I did and it came out quite poorly just like stable diffusion maybe even 1.5 probably even worse so, so that's one thing I have read in some of the uh, forums is that people are not having good luck with um, real life photographs of people so we're all hoping there's some sort of law that can fix this problem so it has really good prompt adherence to what you want but then its quality is lacking i mean i do have 
the quantized version so maybe that is a problem why the quality is not so good so let's just see what we need to get this going we go over to the hugging face and here's the queen image um you know there's the talk about it a bit i don't want to go into any of that detail we just want to know where to get it from so under here the the usual places the quantized versions of this we can click on the seven models but comes up here and go for this guy here city 96 who's been around a while he does um good fine tunes of this and in here this is the model itself this ggf um repo if you click on files and versions i'll show you that in a minute but underneath you do need one of these text encoders i've got the fp8 going but you can get the smaller version there the ggf and this does have a separate VAE just for Queen Image. Remembering this is the thing that one 2.1, 2.2's built on. So all these people saying that's the best image editor out there. Well, it's now sort of been separated out and they've released it as Queen Image. So if you go to files and versions, you can choose one of these. You can if you've got a good enough computer, you can choose this big 40 gig one. But here's all of the sizes there so they're quite sizable that's why i chose a small one at first now to test queen image against the other image generators so i'm going to use this picture to do the test um, this one came out quite good so let's just look at that prompt um, i don't want to read it out you can download the workflow and look at it there but let's have a look at what the others came up with starting with we've got high dream it's yeah it's okay it's not the best got realistic but not sort of got that uniqueness to it now we've got sea dream that's a bit better i don't know if i like the tunnel so much it almost looks like a kid's toy and now we've got ideogram i like the quality the quality is really good of the photo but however that portal so it seems a bit bit weird and this is recraft i i don't like that black rainbow um once again the quality is really good but not what i'm after uh this is whisk qualities oh, i don't think it's as good as ideogram or recraft but it's okay um but that portal is not what i'm after either and this is flux pro ultra i sort of like the quality of that that portal's too small not really behind and there's flux career so that's yeah not that great either so it's actually done all right it's done something different than the others and we look at it it's actually got something that's quite a unique look almost towards the cartoon movie style stuff where the other ones went more towards photos so it's already doing something different than the others Going back to the giraffe model, on our left here we've got the Flux Crea and on the right we've got the Queen Image model. The Flux Crea I think is the better photo. I mean if you're looking through YouTube they probably look very close but there's just a lot more fine detail in the Flux Crea and it actually took one third the time but I do have speed ups on that. However the Queen Image model's just got a few things going on here. I like its composition, it does have a few things going on so still pretty good looking at this image the one on the left is flux career and the one on the right is the queen image the one on the left is calvin and hobie's style and the one on the right seems to have gone to the sort of peanuts gang tiger type thing yeah very interesting what they're training the stuff on but i mean they're, they're great images um both of them quite good uh you just want to sort of want them unique how it's come out like this is a bit confusing right i've got this image here ai like to class with that writing underneath i don't really want that writing so i'm going over to c edit um, to get rid of that so here it is cedit.org come here with this chat like interface there's really nothing in here right so you just upload your image remove blue word febcast i'm just trying to make a guess of what it said from the sign and that's what it came up with which was pretty good just got rid of it didn't add any artifacts into it at all just did that 
So now I want to change this other image. I've wanted to change this red gummy bear over here to green. So I've gone in and prompted that in. And uh, this is the result I got. I changed the wrong one. It changed this one over here. So now I've brought this image in and I want to change these two characters so they don't look familiar. Uh, I've gone in here and I've changed the boy and the tiger so they don't look much like characters from the Charlie Brown or Peanuts. So keep the boy and make the tiger a cat. And this is the image it came up with. Um, yeah, they, the boy sort of still looks similar. The quality has degraded quite a lot. The cat's really out of proportion. Uh, yeah, so it's come out no good on that one completely. So testing flux context now, and yeah, it's done a better quality job. It still does this thick lines thing that flux does sometimes. I don't really like it on cartoons where it's really thick lines around the characters. Um, but the, yeah, they are familiar characters, so it's done a good job with that. It's clean. Um, I would have liked a little more, more detailed on the characters, sort of like the other the part of the background in that, because they sort of don't fit anymore. In this last image here, I'm just going to try the giraffe from Flux Korea output, and I just want to put a fish in its mouth. So I went through here and tried that. That came out pretty good. I did try the same thing in Flux context, and that's come out good as well. I probably actually like the C Edit model um, better on this. It's holding the fish better. But yeah, they're both pretty good results. One thing to note though, on this website, you know, it's free and that's all good. But I'm having to click them, uh, regenerate over and over. You can see this fail to generate. That seems to happen 50% of the time. Thought I'd do a remove test with the cat here. So on the left is my original cat. And then I use C edit to remove the cat. Now there's a bit more orange glow over here. Um, it's sort of done something with the colors like even the grass is greener and that so it's sort of got that ai saturation coming in chat gpt's version here it's quite a lot better uh hasn't got that over saturation there it's done quite a good result google ai studio it's got that orange glow again a uh, nice image but not what i'm after kai dream e1 it's got the colors okay, just a little bit too much blur, I think, where the cat was. Flux context, it's done a really good job. The colors are quite good. A little bit too much blur going on there. I guess the grass could have been a little bit more consistent all the way through. I thought I'd go and try the new Mistral uh, Lee Chat and uploaded the cat there. And it came out with this image, which is way off target from the others. So that's no good it's a, probably a good website to upload your images and make some adjustments it's good for research and things like that and it's free so that's cool the last one i tried is going to the queen 3 235 billion perimeter chat um, upload the image and output there so this gives us access to the actual queen image edit um, which isn't available in comp for UI yet. Still, it came out a little bit blurry in there. So looking at the others like Chat GPT and Flux Context probably came out the best out of most of those removing the image. Looking at how we get prompts in the first place. So if we've got images around the internet that we like, we can just put them into Google AI Studio. I just wrote, what is the prompt that made this image? And it come up with this Pixar style 3D render, etc. And it goes in fine detail. Chat GPT will do this too. It's a bit of trying out what they come up with and put them through different image generators. But we can go like I did go to Queen and that came, I wrote the same thing and that came up with a picture which was no good. But we can go over to Hugging Face and try. The blip 3.0, do the same thing, and you just upload your image. It says you do have to type in here what is the image, what is the prompt for this, so so it understands what you're asking it, right? And so it comes through saying its image depicts an animated giraffe wearing glasses holding a fish in its mouth. 
the next one I tried was Florence too. So if you've had a look at some of my workflows and other people's workflows, they have Florence too in the Confi UI so that when you do image to image or image to video, I can look at the image there and it'll come up with a prompt and this is the same sort of thing. Uh, the image is a close-up of a giraffe, so it's just trying to uh, look at it and go, what can I see in there? Another one is clip interrogator. So the same thing, that's quite a basic prompt, though I don't think that's going to do too much there. So it is worth trying out these things and seeing what you come up with because there's a lot of cool images out there and you want to know how they did them. This is one way to try and figure it out. If you want to go searching for AI images and you want a particular item, like an animal or something, um, it's quite hard these days. I mean, you can go to Facebook groups and uh, AI images, but when the type in the search there, you don't come up with much that Facebook search isn't quite that good. So there was a lot of websites. They're sort of not out there. They're more niche now. They've gone into like... Uh, Leonardo's doing its own stuff and things like that. So I've found Discord probably one of the best places to find images on this one here. I've just got the Mid Journey bot going. So this is just Mid Journey images. But if you like on the sidebar, I can type in Cartoon Cat and it'll go around searching. And I can just scroll as you can see up the top there. There's 66,000 results. So I could be doing this forever. And I'm looking through and I'm going, oh, yeah. Okay, there's different styles there. Those ones aren't probably what I want, but this is looking a bit better. I can click on them and go, oh, yeah, that's not too bad. Um, I can grab the prompt. I can go into Flux Context and change things a bit, um, adjust it, um, or see, edit, um, whatever you think is best now, and you can edit them and change them to your liking. So, yeah, this is probably a really good place to go and find the images that you want and then go and change them so yeah anyway uh, write in the comments what you think about these products um, subscribe and we'll see you in the next episode